Hi there, Toy here, and today I'm going to be doing my first reading challenge update for 2018, letting you know what I plan to read this year and more. All right, so it's 2018 and I am doing the Goodreads challenge again and I'm upping it a little bit. I'm not going crazy. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be one of those people who can read a hundred books in a year, but I've discovered that if I focus more on publications than books, I can do a lot more. So um, let's see here. I've got some notes. <laughs> and if you saw my last video where I kind of did my 2017 wrap up, I mentioned that I was going to try to use that term publications more because I read a lot of things that aren't always novel length books. And so I feel like that's why I've been able to read as much as I have because some of the stuff I read is really short. <laughs> you know, it's a, they're easy reads. And so well, last year for 2017, I said I was going to read 30 books. But then once I started, I realized that I could read a lot more stuff, especially since some of the stuff I read was short. So I bumped it up to 50, ended up reading 56 altogether, but not necessarily 56 novel length books, 56 publications. So my goal for this year is 60 publications. <laughs> I really wish there was a way to like distinguish that on Goodreads, but I'm not complaining. I love what they've got going on with the challenge and I dig it. So, um, <laughs> I am going to be doing something this year that I've not done before and I'm doing it for two reasons. So first let me explain what it is I'm doing. In the month of February, I'm not going to be reading any books, anything that's a novel length, you know, book with mostly just words. In the month of February, I'm going to be focusing on graphic novels. The reason that I'm doing that is one. I, I've been wanting to do like like a readathon type thing, you know, and most of the readathons are intimidating to me. I see people reading like five or six books in three days and I'm just like, I can't do that, you know, but what I what I figured was for the month of February, I was going to collect as many graphic novels as I could, which I have a lot sitting around and that's kind of part of the reason I'm doing so I guess there's three reasons is that I have all of these graphic novels that are sitting around that I haven't read that I need to read you know it's easy to pick up a one shot you know a one issue of a comic book and read it and move on and you get multiple issues but to sit there and get the graphic novel that has like all the issues in that one story one thing you know so it's this is a good excuse for me to finally get through all these you know gr graphic novels so I'm gonna actually post a video where I talk about that more but so I want to get through a bunch of graphic novels that I haven't read yet I wanted to do a readathon so I'm going to consider February a whole month readathon of graphic novels where I don't have a set number but I'm going to try to read as many of the graphic novels that I currently have in my possession as possible and the third reason and I'll talk about more in my next video is this is going to be something that I feel like me and my husband can do together because he loves comic books just as much as I do and since he's not much of a, a reader otherwise I thought this would give us an opportunity to read some graphic novels together because a lot of the graphic novels that I'm going to be reading he's totally interested in and he wants to read them as well some of them not so much but like I said I'll talk about that more in the video specifically for that so those graphic novels that you know February readathon is going to be part of my reading challenge this year Gonna be interesting but I'm gonna be doing that in the month of February so yay so on top of adding you know a whole month of graphic novel reading I'm gonna do like I did last year and I'm going to make a list of books that I want to read in 2018 and hopefully I'll do better than I did last year I I didn't keep track of it as well as I should have but I want to estimate that there were about I want to say about 20 books on my list from last year and of those 20, I didn't read five of them. So I think that's pretty good to have about 20 books that you specifically set aside to want to read. I got through 15 of them, so I'm proud of myself for that. But I hope this year to be able to get through all of the books on my specific to read list for 2018, because my current goal is 60. <laughs> that's a lot. So I figure even with all the books, that are on the list and I'm going to share with you in a second plus the graphic novels that I want to read 
I should hopefully be able to get to 60 and still have some leeway to, you know, throw in some other books here and there as the year progresses. Another thing that I mentioned in my 2017 wrap up is that I am a member of the Insecure Writer Support Group book club. So there's another six books that should be added to my overall reading challenge for the whole year because we read a book every other month. So that's six books that I should be able to help me get to that 60 books for 2018. So now it's just time to get down to the list of books that I plan to read in 2018. Whew. I'm just going to kind of go through the books. I'm not going to give a lot of detail about them. You will see the book covers um, somewhere in this video. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right. So the first thing is for the month of February, I currently have 21 graphic novels on my to read list, which I'll share that with you later. So out of the 60, there's 21 of my publications. Whew. All right, and then for this list, I have 24 books on the public um, um, on this list of publications to read in 2018. So that leaves about 15 books still that I can add throughout the year. So I feel pretty good about that. Let me back up a second and say what I've already read this month because I'm ahead of the game. 60 books, I'm two books in already. I'm feeling pretty good about myself, people. So I can I finished reading The Weekend Novelist, which that was an IWSG book club book. Remember, I feel like I gave that one a four star rating. And yeah, the link will be below for all of my reviews. And then I also finished Flaming Crimes, which was Disaster Crimes number four. I'm just loving this series by Chris Fay. And I'm pretty sure I gave Flaming Crimes, um, I wanted to give it a 4.5. But since that's not an option, I bumped it up to a five. But I really enjoyed it. Good book. So you can check out my review for that. So that's what I've already finished for 2018. Ha <laughs> ha. So what I'm currently reading is I'm reading Ignite the Shadows by Ingrid Seymour. And that was actually one of the books that was on my to read list from last year that I just never got to. And there was, there was no like excuse for it. I just... I don't know. I just didn't get to it. So I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna start with that. <laughs> so I'm currently reading that. And I'm also currently reading the abduct the abduction of Rupert DeVille. And that's by Paul White. He is um, an indie author that I've met online through several different groups. And he has a whole lot of really cool things going on. And I was like, you know, what? I want to check this guy's workout. So and I feel like because I'm involved in some different groups with him, I feel like he and I are going to be good friends. Regardless of whether we're friends or not, I'm going to read it. I'm going to review it honest. That's how I roll. So that's what I'm currently reading. What I have up next to read is uh, Winter, Luna Chronicles number four. The next thing I want to read is Black Prism by Brooke Reeks. And that's actually one of the books that I meant to read last year. So it's up high on the list. And these books aren't really in order but if it's at the top of the list, it's there for a reason. Um, after about the first four or five, it doesn't really matter what order they're in. I should have started with that. Let's keep it moving. The next book I want to read is Guns Above, Signal Airship number one. And I do want to show you this book. Um, this is it. I think I showed it to you guys last year. But the thing is, <laughs> I won this book um, in a giveaway. And just like in Night Shadows, there was no excuse for why I didn't read this book. I'm holding it in my hand now. I'm showing it to you. I am going to read this book this year. I was so excited to read it when I got it. I just don't know what the heck happened. So I'm going to read this in 2018. Let's continue. Um, I'm also going to be reading Dread, a horror collection by um, S. Wharton. I'm going to be reading Night Star, an astronomy story. That's a children's book. So that one will be a short read. I want to read The Invisible Library. Good friend of mine, author Charity Ayers. She read it, loved it, and I, I, I've had it for a while. Again, don't know why I haven't read it. So I want to read The Invisible Library. I would like to read 50 Fabulous Tomatoes for Your Garden. That is nonfiction. That is by Ruth. <sighs> I always pronounce her last name wrong. Um, Dejari, I believe. And she's actually part of one of the um, author groups that I joined at the end of 2017 that I'm still with. I'm very happy. And But I loved that she wrote a book about tomatoes because I love tomatoes. 
So I definitely want to read that this year. So I want to read Neverwhere and I want to read The Ocean at the End of the Lane. Um, I re originally remember The Ocean at the End of the Lane being recommended to me by my former brother-in-law. And um, I know he reads all different kinds of stuff, but I thought if he likes it, I'll check it out. And so I also want to read uh, The Paper Magician. And um, that's a, a, a whole new series for me. One that I've seen on booktube a lot. People seem to really like it. And I've had it for a while. Again, don't know why I haven't read it. Um, I want to read After Alice by Gregory, Gregory Maguire. I've read his entire Wicked series. And I'm really interested in reading some of his other stuff. I don't know why I didn't read more of his stuff after reading the whole Wicked series. So <laughs> here you go. I'm going to read After Alice. I'm going to read Sign of the Green Dragon. That's by Celie McKenzie. And she's an indie author. And a blogger that I follow. I mean, I have all these really cool bloggers that I follow, and I figure I just need to buckle down and actually start reading some of their stuff. Some of their stuff I do read all the time. That's how I've discovered a lot of these authors. But some, I mean, I read so many blogs that I just forget sometimes that they have other content that I can read. So I'm going to read that by C. Lee. And then I have two books by J.H. Moncrief that I'm going to read. I read her book oh i can't of course i can't remember the title right now i'll post it in the video when i figure it out but i remember it being a type of loch ness type story and it was really good so i have other books by her that again i bought them with the intention to read them and haven't done it yet so i want to read um the bear who wouldn't leave that's a horror story i'm a little scared to read it but I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> and I'm also going to be reading the first of her new series, City of Ghosts. I'm also going to be reading more from my favorite fantasy author, Stacey Rourke. I'm going to be reading Real Romance number 2, Turntables. I liked the first one. This is one of her contemporary uh, romance books and most of her books are filled with humor. So even though it's not her typical like fantasy stuff, it's still Stacey Rourke. It's good stuff. So I'm going to read the second book to that series. I'm going to be reading her newest book. I think I think it's her newest book. She has so much stuff out. <laughs> I'm going to be reading Veiled, number one. That's a new series for her. And I'm also going to be reading Rise of the Sea Witch, Unfortunate Souls Chronicles 1. And here's something that may or may not happen. I've put my number into the kind of pool, as they say. I might have a chance to read um, the arc for her next book in that series. I'll let you know more about that as it happens. Of course, if I do, you know, um, read the arc, I won't be able to talk about it until a certain time. But I'm just throwing it out there that I hope to have a chance to do that. I want to read Airships, Airship Broken Needs Repairs by Russell Nolte. Um, I've read pretty much all his current graphic novels. So I'm trying to read more of his novels. Another thing that I've had in my possession for a while that I've seen all over booktube and I'm still kicking myself for not reading it last year. It wasn't on my list. So that's why I didn't get to it. So that's what I realized. I'm more likely to read stuff that's on my list even though I did not read a couple of things on my list. The point is I should have read this when I got it but I didn't so I'm trying to read it now and that is A Darker Shade of Magic. This is Shades of Magic number one by B. Schwab. It's a whole I think it's a three-part series there might be more to it but I'm definitely going to read the first book in that series. Hopefully I'll love it and keep going. The next thing I, I hope to read this this year is Dark Matter by Blade Crouch. I've heard so many good things about it. It's science fiction. It's dark. I'm into it. Yeah. Another thing that I hope to read is Lady Cop Makes Trouble. This is Cop Sisters number two. Um, I was introduced to this series, which is by Amy Stewart, because of another book club that I used to be in. Notice I said used to. Anyway, um, I liked it. Um, so I been meaning to read the second book. I don't know how many books are in the series, but I know there's a book too, and I'm going to try to read it. Next thing I want to try to read is The Golem and the Jenny number one by Helen Wecker. Wecker. And this is another book that I've had for a while. You just haven't read it. <laughs> uh, the next thing that I want to try to read is, I think it's pronounced Lycia. This is the Sophia Castro Castro number one. I think this is a, um, a werewolf series that kind of goes into like um, the, the mythology of werewolves. You know, I don't really know a whole lot about it, but it's got a really cool cover. 
And I remember a few years back, I followed this particular author's blog and somehow I lost the link. I don't know. I guess I wasn't fully subscribed. So I'm going to look her up and see what's going on with her. But I don't know. It just came up. I came across it and I was like, yeah, I remember that book. So I'm going to try to read Lakia and it's by Sharon Von Orman. And like I mentioned before, I hope to also get my hands on a couple of arcs this year. I like reading arcs. They're fun. I don't know. I mean, they're most of the time they end up being the exact same book that ends up being published every now and then, you know, you get an advanced arc. And then when you read the final book, you do notice some changes. And I think that's part of the fun. I like the idea of reading something before the rest of the, you know, the public gets to read it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I won't be heartbroken if I don't read any arcs this year, but it'd be cool if I did. So that is what I plan to read in 2018 and I would love to know what you guys are planning to read. If you've read any of things on my list and want to give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, I'd love to hear it. I like to, you know, know what people do and don't like just so that when it comes time for me to form my own opinion, I can just do a comparison. So yeah, that's what I want to read for 2018. I'd love to know what you're reading and that's all I have for now. Bye bye.